Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. Shrek Academy's assessment area was located at the north central part of the Marshall Soul Department and was adjacent to the Soul Dueling area. However, the examination area was much larger than the Soul Dueling area. To the outer courtyard students, this was a paradise for outstanding students, where they could display their abilities, but was a nightmare for weaker students. There would always be a large number of students expelled after failing their assessment every year. A large majority of the assessments would be held in this examination area. Whilst studying in Shrek Academy, the competition was undoubtedly fierce and cruel. However, this also resulted in students working even harder under this intense atmosphere, allowing them to stimulate even more of their potential. This had, in turn, allowed Shrek Academy to survive 10,000 years without becoming weak at all. There were a total of 50 arenas for the freshman assessment, which meant that every single arena would have six or seven teams within it. It wasn't just today, they would also compete with other teams from the same arena tomorrow, up until they'd finished competing with all the teams in the same arena as them. Afterwards, the winners would be redistributed into new groups, allowing them to finish their 10-round competition. Hui Yu Hao's team of three was assigned to the 33rd arena. After the 3-8 lunch, they returned to their respective dorm rooms in order to meditate for a while, then met back up when it was time to. The arenas with the examination area were extremely easy to look for, since each arena was quite obviously labeled. They managed to find which arena they were supposed to be in quite quickly. The students from the other classes, who were also meant to be in the area, had already arrived. Some of them looked nervous, while some of them seemed eager to begin. All of them were only kids, around 11 or 12 years old, so they couldn't really conceal their thoughts. When they looked at each other, their eyes clearly exposed the hostility they had for one another. After all, only half of them would continue to remain within Shrek Academy. Even though the freshman assessment only had a total of 10 rounds, every single round would affect their future, new students, please pay attention. New students, please pay attention. Please immediately enter the examination area to participate in the freshman assessment. There are still 10 minutes left for you to enter. Any students that are late will automatically forfeit their assessment. The examination area was oval-shaped. Unlike the sole dueling area, which was enclosed, the examination area was basically an open field. It was only encircled by short walls, while inside it was separated into many small areas by partitions. These partitions could be moved at any time to alter the size of the examination area. The examination area would always be divided the most whenever the freshman assessment happened. It wasn't just because of the large number of new students, but also because there was still a limit to the destructive power and attack range that new students had. Because of this, they didn't need too large of an area to allow them to fully display their abilities. The examination area was roughly 20,000 square meters large, but was currently separated into 50 areas. Every single partitioned area was around 400 square meters in size, and was a 20 by 20 meter square. This was already sufficient for new students, who generally only had one or two soul rings. After the intense division of groups in the morning, the assessment formally started in the afternoon. Because this was the first day of the assessment, all of the teams could leave after finishing only one match. This was done for the sake of letting the new students adapt, at least somewhat, to the schedule. The academy had stationed a teacher in each of the 50 areas in order to complete the registration process for the assessment. The lot drawing for today's matches had already been done that afternoon, and the academy did all they could to ensure that no teams from the same class would meet each other during the 10-match round-robin tournament. Hui Yu Hao unconsciously clenched his fists, then felt the 24 moonlit bridges on his waist for reassurance. The freshman assessment prohibited the usage of soul tools, but hidden weapons were still classified as ordinary weapons, which weren't prohibited. Soul masters would rarely use any weapons, unless they were soul tools. However, as a disciple of the Tang sect, Hui Yu Hao was clearly an exception to this. Wang Dong placed his left hand on Hui Yu Hao's shoulder and leaned towards him. Don't be nervous, this will be trivial to us. Xiao Xiao didn't call Wang Dong out for being arrogant this time. Instead, she nodded towards Hui Yu Hao. 
Although Wang Dong hadn't been able to show off his full power when the three of them had fought earlier, she had still been able to see that his cultivation wasn't any lower than that hers, based on the resolute words he spoke at the very end. Combined with the class monitor's mystical spiritual detection sharing, there were an extremely small number of students, within their age group, who could be their opponents. Hui Yu Hao whispered, will be the champions. Xiao Xiao and Wang Dong simultaneously nodded. The three then placed their palms above each other's once again. Although they were young, they knew one thing, although simply passing the assessment might not be that hard for them, if they wanted to become champions of the assessment, teamwork would be key. Because of that, even Wang Dong restrained his pride. The freshman assessment was extremely important, so the academy's announcement wasn't really that useful. All of the freshmen had already arrived at their designated arenas in order to make preparations for the upcoming assessment. A teacher that looked to be around 40 walked into the 33rd area. He looked like an extremely average person, he didn't give off any sort of threatening aura. He had a smile on his face, as well as an extremely friendly appearance. As such, he was as different as heaven and earth when compared to Ju Yi. After counting the number of people present, he smiled slightly. Very good. We have a total of six teams participating in the freshman assessment today, and it seems that you're all present. Allow me to introduce myself first. I'm Wang Yang, and I'll be your proctor for the next two days. Greetings, Teacher Wang. The students hurriedly bowed in respect. Wang Yang chuckled. No need to be so polite. I've always treated everyone as a friend while I'm teaching, and from now until the end of our time together, you'll all be my little friends. As such, I don't wish to see anyone get hurt. Although this assessment determines whether or not you can continue to study in Shrek Academy, I have to remind you that this is still only an assessment. You absolutely mustn't hurt your opponents too badly. If that happens, I'm afraid I'll have to ask him to leave and report the incident to the academy. He spoke with a very gentle tone and downplayed the entire matter. Although he didn't mention the consequences for crippling one's opponent, every single student that was able to enter Shrek Academy was a child prodigy. They naturally understood the implications behind his words and nodded to express their understanding. Wang Yang smiled. Since that's the case, we can start now. If we end earlier, you can go back early to train for tomorrow. A slight sense of urgency is definitely a good thing for you youngsters. There were six teams of students, thus three matches would be held within the 33rd arena today. However, Hui Yu Hao never thought that they would be the first team to go out. The three of them glanced at each other, then quickly walked towards the northwestern corner of the arena. The three of them positioned themselves quite carefully. Wang Dong stood in front, while Xiao Xiao stood behind him. Hui Yu Hao, on the other hand, stood behind both of them, in the the corner of the arena. As for the the other team of three, they naturally chose to stand at the southeastern corner of the arena. The three students from class three were all boys, they even looked quite handsome. The tallest person of the three was Ouyang Junyi, who was also the most handsome of the three. Although there was still a gap between him and Wang Dong, his body looked much sturdier than Wang Dong's. The person next to him, Chen Junfeng, was extremely slender, even though he wasn't that tall. Finally, Zhao Haochen was a little fatty, who had a plump stomach, as well as a straightforward smile on his face. Seeing that both parties were in position, Wang Yang nodded. Start the assessment. The two parties instantly released their martial souls. Although Hui Yu Hao was standing in the corner, with his meticulous control, he was able to prevent his spiritual detection sharing from covering what was behind him. Instead, he merely covered the arena in front of him with his spiritual detection sharing. Xiao Xiao also released her three-live soul crush cauldron, causing an enormous black cauldron to rapidly form in midair. Wang Dong's movements were even more direct. With a flash, he charged straight into the air, his pair of dazzling blue and purple wings already unfurled. A brilliant golden pattern traced them. No matter whether it was his opponents, or their proctor Wang Yang, they were all astonished by his beautiful pair of wings. His wings were simply too beautiful. It was even to the extent that Xiao Xiao and Hui Yu Hao's limelight was completely overshadowed. Their three opponents had already made their preparations, they had released their martial souls the instant the battle had started. Zhao Haochen, who was standing at the very back of his team, shouted, Come quickly, my drumsticks. 
The ripples of a yellow soul ring appeared from beneath his feet and rose up, causing two sparkling yellow lights to appear in his hands. Two braised chicken drumsticks suddenly appeared in his hands, which he quickly passed to the two people in front of him. While releasing their martial souls, Ouyang Junyi and Chen Junfeng rapidly grabbed the drumsticks from Zhao Haochen and forcefully took large bites from them. A food system martial soul. This was Hui Yu Hao's first time seeing a food system martial soul. He didn't have any idea what the drumsticks that Zhao Haochen had summoned could do. Even though Zhao Haochen only had a single soul ring, it was still a hundred year one, so its strengthening effects were presumably good. However, Ouyang Junyi and Chen Juanfeng's respective appearances whilst eating the drumsticks that had been summoned were somewhat odd, to the extent that Xiao Xiao couldn't help but laugh. The three-live soul crush cauldron still remained hovering above her head, without any intention of making a move at all. Ouyang Junyi and Chen Junfeng made their moves at the same time. Of the two, one of them had a beast martial soul, while the other had a tool martial soul. However, they were both agility system soul masters. Ouyang Junyi's martial soul was the sword beak hummingbird. When he released his martial soul, a sharp stinger rapidly appeared on his right forearm. His martial soul was a bird type 1, but he didn't have wings due to his current cultivation level. This alone demonstrated the gap between his and Wang Dong's martial souls. Wang Dong's radiant butterfly goddess innately had wings, which was the sign of a peak level beast martial soul. Chen Juanfeng's martial soul was a flexible sword, making all three of them one ringed soul masters. However, they all possessed hundred year soul rings. Ouyang Junyi was the strongest of the three, his cultivation had already reached the 19th rank. Chen Junfeng, on the other hand, had reached the 18th rank. As for Zhao Haochen, considering the fact that he was a food system soul master, his cultivation speed was relatively slower. Hence, his cultivation had only reached the 17th rank. As soon as the two agility system soul masters of the opposing team finished their drumsticks, they proceeded to pounce towards Wang Dong like arrows released from a bowstring, their speed was so quick that even Wang Dong was astonished. However, he instantly understood that the drumsticks they'd just finished were the cause for their increase their speed. Zhu Yi wasn't the only teacher who divided her students into teams, other teachers had also done it. With Zhao Haochen supporting Ouyang Junyi and Chen Junfeng, their advantage in terms of speed was undoubtedly unleashed to its fullest potential, allowing them to use speed alone to achieve victory. However, before the two even made their moves, the golden pattern imprinted on Wang Dong's wings had already started to spread as he activated his first soul ring as well. His arms merged with his frontal wings, causing his wing guillotine skill that Hua Yu Hao and Xiao Xiao had seen before to appear again. Since he was in mid-air, Wang Dong was in a much better position than Ouyang Junyi and Chen Junfeng. A hint of arrogance appeared on his face, as if he were loftily looking down on the two of them. As he faced their attacks, Wang Dong swept his left wing out, directly meeting Ouyang Junyi's sword beak hummingbird. Whilst he was did this, his right wing directly slashed outwards, hitting Chen Junfeng's sword light first, even though it was released second. Wang Dong's positioning, as he unleashed his attacks wasn't lacking in the least. A series of sounds rang out. To his astonishment, Ouyang Junyi discovered that his sword beak hummingbird's first soul skill hummingbird flash sting had only been able to cause a few halos of light to appear on Wang Dong's radiant butterfly goddess front wings. Even with the level of sharpness that his sword beak hummingbird possessed, it had actually been unable to break through the strength of Wang Dong's wings. Following that, Wang Dong's enormous wings swept straight towards his face. Wang Dong spread his wings out in mid-air, causing blue and violet lights to glitter back and forth across his wings. The golden pattern on his wings slowly vanished as he casually landed, and he maintained the arrogant look on his face that hadn't disappeared since the battle started. The onlooking teacher, Wang Yang, had a brilliant look in his eyes, while the faces of the other terms sank after watching the match. The entire 33rd area was dead silent. He was too strong, he was a terrifying assault system soul master. Assault system soul masters could naturally suppress agility system soul masters to a certain extent, but everyone present was a new student. How large could the difference between them be? Wang Dong had actually been able to defeat two agility system soul masters by himself, and this was a food system soul master supporting them although a two-ring soul master had an enormous advantage over a one-ring soul master, he had still been able to beat three opponents within mere seconds. 
From this alone, one could imagine how tyrannical the sole master, who possessed the radiant butterfly goddess was. Furthermore, there was still another person who also possessed two soul rings, just like Wang Dong in their team. This team had two soul masters that were above the 20th rank. As for Hui Yuhao, he was completely overlooked by everyone present. Only teacher Wang Yang had faintly noticed the golden light that had flickered in his eyes. In reality, even though there was a significant gap between Ouyang Junyi and Hui Yuhao's team in terms of strength, Wang Dong shouldn't have been able to achieve victory as quickly as he did just by himself. However, don't forget that he had the assistance of Hui Yuhao's spiritual detection sharing, which was equivalent to a 600-year soul ring. Hui Yuhao's spiritual detection sharing wasn't a single skill after all, it provided assistance equivalent to two 600-year soul rings. The help that Wang Dong had received from Hui Yuhao vastly exceeded the support that his opponents had received from their food system soul master. Furthermore, Wang Dong also had a hundred-year soul ring as his first soul ring, while his soul force had already reached the twenty-fourth rank, his cultivation tremendously outstripped that of his opponents. After withdrawing his wings, Wang Dong walked back to Xiao Xiao and Hui Yuhao and high-fived them in celebration. Xiao Xiao smiled. Our class monitor is awesome. Wang Dong, how about you let me enjoy myself next time? She was confident that, if she was the one who'd gone out, she would have also been able to defeat her opponents. The more she felt that Hui Yuhao's spiritual detection was magical, the more she found herself entranced by it. Thus, the person she praised wasn't Wang Dong, but Hui Yuhao. Wang Dong chortled. Don't. Keep your strength hidden. These ten matches are merely appetizers to the three of us. It's enough for just me to show off. We can't let the other teams get a feel for our strength. Hui Yuhao chuckled. Wang Dong makes a good point. Xiao Xiao, you'll be our trump card. Xiao Xiao also laughed when she heard their words and nodded in agreement. Class 1's team Hui Yuhao wins their first match. After Wang Yang had announced the results of the match, he noted it down on the previous sheet of paper he'd pulled out. On the other side, Ouyang Junyi's team of three had already managed to crawl back to their feet. Wang Dong had been lenient on them, so they hadn't suffered any real injuries. However, they had a look of embarrassment on their faces. They didn't want to remain for even one more second after letting everyone see how easily they'd been defeated. Hence, they quickly ran away. After Wang Yang had recorded the results of the match, he glanced back towards Hu Yuhao's team of three. He inwardly thought, I reckon that this is class one's trump card. The students that teacher Zhu Yi has taught are extraordinary, as expected. The name of this team from class one was Team Hu Yuhao. In other words, Hu Yuhao was the leader of this team. However, if you looked at it from the perspective of their cultivation levels, Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao both outstripped him. To put it bluntly, with Hu Yuhao's soul ring that was only of the 10 year rank, as well as his cultivation that hadn't yet broken through to the 20th rank, he shouldn't even have the qualifications to enter Shrek Academy. Despite all of this, he was the leader of their team. That is to say, this student who had a 10 year soul ring was the core of this team. Just why was this the case? Wang Yang was a representative from the moderate faction of Shrek Academy's theoretical school of thought. He had a large amount of knowledge on theory, while his ability to teach was extremely strong. Even though he was only 40 or so years old, he was a highly ranked teacher that was second to none in the outer courtyard. Obtaining a promotion as a teacher within Shrek Academy was even more difficult than obtaining one as a student. This was extremely obvious, as shown by Ju Yi only being a middle-ranked teacher. This was naturally related to her terrifying teaching methods. On the other hand, Wang Yang was someone who could become a high-ranked teacher, and was someone who had the qualifications to teach inner courtyard students. From this, it could clearly be seen how strong he was in the field of theoretical knowledge. However, even he couldn't understand what was going on with Hu Yu Hao's team, so much so that he couldn't even tell what kind of soul master Hu Yu Hao was. Although they'd finished their assessment for the day, Hu Yu Hao's team of three didn't leave. Instead, they stayed behind to observe the other two matches. They waited until the other matches had finished before bidding farewell to Wang Yang. Wang Yang didn't ask Hu Yu Hao anything in the end. He believed that he'd definitely see Hu Yu Hao's abilities in the following matches. The first round of the freshman assessment quickly finished. 
The purpose of today's assessment was more or less to allow the participating students to adapt to the assessment. However, tomorrow's assessment would be much more challenging. The students would have to undergo two rounds of assessments in both the morning and the afternoon, totaling four rounds for the day. The third day, on the other hand, would be even more terrifying. All of the teams that were left would have to undergo five rounds that day, as the duration of the freshman assessment was only three days long. This assessment didn't just train students in combat, but also in their ability to fight a prolonged battle. When the second day of the assessment started, the students from class one began to feel grateful for teacher Ju Yi. Fighting four matches in a single day wasn't just a problem of soul force consumption, the drain on their physical strength was extremely serious as well. After undergoing Ju Yi's hell-like training, the students from class one clearly had a better ability to endure the physical drain from the constant battling than the students from the other classes. After the match they'd fought on the first day, as well as the observations they'd made afterwards, Hui Yu Hao was 100% certain that there were no opponents in their group capable of threatening them. Other than them, there was only a single student above the 20th rank of Soul Force. The students from the other teams weren't idiots either. Being under such intense conditions, they directly forfeited when they faced Hui Yu Hao's team in order to achieve better results later on. Hui Yu Hao's team was in much better condition compared to the exhausted students of the other teams. Hui Yu Hao's team of three easily managed to achieve victory in all four of their matches, thereby obtaining a perfect result of five victories in five matches. With these results as a safety net, they'd basically passed the freshman assessment already. Furthermore, these five victories caused them to be filled with confidence. On the other hand, Wang Yang felt somewhat depressed as the proctor of the 33rd arena. Five matches had passed, yet Hui Yu Hao's team had fought in the exact same way in every match Wang Dong would make move on his own, while Hui Yu Hao and Xiao Xiao would simply sit back and watch. The match would end in a short period of time, causing him to remain mystified as to what abilities Hui Yu Hao possessed. As a theory-based teacher, how could he not feel depressed? Hui Yu Hao, you three come over here for a moment. When the second day's matches had concluded, Wang Yang called Hui Yu Hao's team of three over, Teacher Wang. Hui Yu Hao walked in front, with Wang Dong and Xiao Xiao flanking him. As I thought. Wang Yang inwardly thought to himself. This Hui Yu Hao truly is the core of their team. You three have obtained an excellent result of five victories in five matches. You must continue to work hard in your future matches, so that you can participate in the ranking tournament for the top 64 teams. However, tomorrow's five matches won't be nearly as easy as today's were. After today's matches have concluded, we'll be drawing lots again, while teams who've lost all of their matches will be eliminated. When we draw lots, we'll make sure that students from the same class won't meet each other, but your previous results will also be brought into consideration. Tomorrow, you'll definitely remain in the 33rd arena, but there's a very high chance that you'll meet a strong team, or even two, that are capable of challenging you. Hui Yu Hao nodded and replied, Thank you, Teacher Wang. We'll definitely work hard. Wang Yang smiled. That's good. Go back and get some rest. He still held himself back from asking Hu Yu Hao about his martial soul, as he still had some pride in himself. He believed that Hu Yu Hao wouldn't be able to hide his martial soul from him once they met a strong opponent. How relaxing. Winning against them was as easy as chopping vegetables. Wang Dong said with excited look on their way back. He was extremely satisfied with how they'd done today. Xiao Xiao said, it should be my turn to go out tomorrow. Wang Dong, you've only used your first soul skill so far. If the opponents we meet tomorrow are even stronger than today's, I'm afraid that you might have to use your second soul skill. However, your second soul skill was created from a thousand-year soul ring, so it's the strongest attack technique we have on our team. We shouldn't let other people see it easily, we should only use it during the ranking tournament. If we meet any strong opponents tomorrow, I'll help you out. We should try our best to only use our first soul skills. Even if we do meet an extremely strong opponent, I'll be the one to use their second soul skill, so that we can keep yours hidden. This way, we'll have two trump cards. How about it? Wang Dong laughed. Xiao Xiao, you've said all this, but it's really just because your hands are itchy, isn't it? Fine, we'll do it your way. I've already been satisfied, so I'll let you pleasure yourself for a bit. 
Ma Xiaodao was still as beautiful as ever, although there was an abnormal flush on her charming face, and the pinkness of her eyes had darkened a bit. We found them, right? Sister Xiaodao, can I go now? Xu Sancha had a bitter smile on his face as he spoke. After being tormented by an intense amount of pain for a few days, he'd finally managed to endure the last of it. However, the drain on his energy, physical strength, and soul force was too severe. Right now, all he wanted to do was return to his room and sleep. Ma Xiaodao nodded. Okay, you can go. Xu Sancha glanced at Hui Yuhao and Wang Dong with a look that said you can fend for yourselves before he left. His disloyal appearance caused the two to feel nervous. Just why had Ma Xiaodao been looking for them? Ma Xiaodao indifferently said, you too, follow me. Junior classmate, you can return by yourself. Xiao Xiao was just about to say something, but Hui Yuhao immediately shook his head, indicating that she should leave, and that nothing would happen to them. Xiao Xiao felt somewhat unresigned, but she left unwillingly in the end. Following Ma Xiaotao's lead, the two walked towards the lakeside path. After walking for a little while, they arrived at the lakeside where they'd first been attacked by her. Ma Xiaodao only stopped when she was right in front of the sea god's lake. However, Hu Yuhao and Wang Dong both kept their distance from her. Wang Dong had a vigilant look on his face, while Hu Yuhao's heart was thumping. Senior Sister Ma, why did you call us over? Hu Yuhao asked probingly. With her back to them, Ma Xiaodao said, you should have guessed it by now. You're right. I was the student who burst out from the inner courtyard the student who almost harmed you two that time. At the time, I truly had no choice. Now then, I'd first like to apologize to you too. Wang Dong curled his lips, inwardly thinking, this is apologizing. There's no sincerity in your actions at all. The two glanced at each other, then Hu Yu Hao said, Senior Sister Ma, let's let bygones be bygones. The schools already compensated us anyway. Ma Xiaodao suddenly turned around, the shades of pink in her eyes suddenly darkening further. An ineffable pressure suddenly appeared on Hu Yuhao and Wang Dong's bodies, in my opinion, this matter isn't over yet. Ma Xiaodao growled. Wang Dong had a blank look on his face. Senior Sister Ma, I don't know what you're talking about. When you attacked us that day, we both fainted from the high temperatures your body was emitting. We don't know anything about what happened after that. As for this ice-type soul master you're talking about, we don't have any way of knowing who he is. Hu Yu Ha followed Wang Dong's lead and nodded his head. No matter what, he couldn't divulge his secrets regarding the Sky Dream Ice Worm. Seeing that they didn't seem to be lying, a trace of hesitation appeared in Ma Xiaotao's eyes. The reason that she'd gone looking for the two of them was because, after returning that day, she'd suddenly thought about why they'd felt familiar to her. It was because she'd seen some information regarding Hu Yu Hao and Wang Dong in the inner courtyard. Three months ago, she'd relied on the Sky Dream Ice Worm's cold energy to suppress the demonic fire within her body, which had let her cultivation speed greatly increase while it was suppressed. When the cold energy vanished, she was only able to rely on Xu Sancha. However, she discovered that although his mysterious underworld turtle was a peak ranked martial soul, it was still just a water type martial soul, not an ice type martial soul. Hence, the help that it brought her had gradually decreased, you really don't know. Ma Xiaodao asked in a low voice. Hu Yuhao and Wang Dong simultaneously shook their heads. Ma Xiaotao's expression suddenly changed as she spoke in a chilly voice, then don't blame me for being impolite. If you really don't know, I'll have to force him out. As she spoke, a strong wave of heat was erupted outwards as a volcano-like scarlet flame shot out from Ma Xiaotao's body. The wings of the radiant butterfly goddess instantly shot out from Wang Dong's back. As they unfurled, they were already filled with golden patterns. Wang Dong's wing guillotine had instantly been activated. Regained her composure. She relaxed her grip on Hu Yuhao and Wang Dong, causing them to stumble and fall to the ground. Ma Xiaodao indifferently said, Since this is unrelated to you two, so be it. I know that you two won't accept this, so work hard and cultivate. If you can enter the inner courtyard one day, I'll give you the chance to challenge me. When she finished speaking, she turned around and left. She completely ignored the two of them, who were filled with indignation. This madwoman. Wang Dong shouted angrily. Hui Yuhao climbed to his feet, then pulled Wang Dong up. 
let it go. If you still have the strength to curse at her, use it to cultivate when you get back. She's not wrong, whose fault is it that we're not stronger than her? Let's head back. Previously, when Ma Xiaodao had been forced back by the Sky Dream Iceworm's finger, Hui Yu Hao had seen everything. Because of this, he'd faintly guessed what Ma Xiaodao was talking about. When Xiao Xiao saw the two the day after, she couldn't help a hint of astonishment from appearing on her charming face. What happened to you two? Why do the two of you have such ugly looks on your faces? Did that senior sister from the inner courtyard do something to you? Wang Dong answered first, obviously not. She just wanted to ask us a few questions. Don't worry about it, let's hurry up and head to the assessment. He was obviously unwilling to speak about such an embarrassing matter. Since they were the team that had achieved the best results during the previous five-round tournament, they were able to remain in the 33rd arena. After lots were redrawn, they were paired with another five teams in order to continue their assessment. These students definitely weren't first-rankers from the other arenas, as such they certainly wouldn't meet any amazingly strong opponents during their next five rounds. However, it still wouldn't be as easy for them as their previous matches. Teacher Wang Yang glanced at Hu Yu Hao's team of three with a deep look in his eyes, then proceeded to make an announcement, all right, everyone's present. Since class one's team Hu Yu Hao was able to obtain the best results in this arena during their previous five matches, they are the seeded team of this arena. As for the order of the matches, the first match of the 33rd arena's sixth round will be class one's team Hu Yu Hao versus class seven's team Huang Chuqian. Begin the assessment. The two female students had blue hair, and their small, delicate faces were rosy. They looked extremely cute, and even seemed to be slightly younger than them. A pair of twins. A tall and sturdy male student stood in front of the two girls, he was clearly Huang Chuqian, their team leader. I'm Huang Chuqian. The girl on my left is Lan Susu, while the girl on my right is Lan Luo Luo. Please advise us. Hui Yu Hao, Wang Dong, and Xiao Xiao. Please advise us. Hui Yu Hao replied. Both parties took their positions. Hui Yu Hao's side followed their original formation, with Wang Dong in front, Xiao Xiao in the middle, and Hui Yu Hao in the corner of the arena. On the other side, Huang Chutian stood in front, while Lan Susu and Lan Luo Luo stood behind him. Teams could only have one assault system soul master, and it was extremely obvious that one of the twins couldn't possibly be their team's assault system soul master. Hence, it was extremely possible that they were both auxiliary system soul masters, or even both control system soul masters like Hui Yu Hao's team. Teacher Wang Yang let out a low shout, let the assessment begin. Both sides quickly released their martial souls. Huang Chutian let out a roar and used both hands to forcefully beat on his chest. He hadn't even reached the age of 12, yet he was already 1.5 meters tall. After releasing his martial soul, his stature instantly shot up to 1.8 meters or so, whilst his bulging muscles directly ripped the school uniform that he was wearing apart, exposing his muscles, which had turned metallic black. His originally black eyes had turned yellow, and two canine teeth were now protruding from his thickened lips. His forelimbs were become thick and solid, while his muscles looked as tough as steel. Two yellow soul rings simultaneously rose up from his feet. Impressively, he was an assault system soul the pair of twins behind Huang Chutian also released their martial souls, which, unexpectedly, turned out to be their hair. Two soul rings unexpectedly also appeared below Lan Luo Luo and Lan Susu's feet, all four yellow. With a swing of their heads, their long, blue hair immediately rose into the air, rapidly spreading out in mid-air. It quickly reached ten or so meters in length as it floated in mid-air. This was an entire team, composed of three students above the twentieth rank. Just how had they not obtained first in their original area? This was also the first team formed by three sole grandmasters that Hu Yu Hao's team had met. Huang Chutian's team of three were indeed strong, but they just so happened to meet an enemy in their original area that had perfectly restrained them. Hence, they'd ended up with four wins and one loss, relegating them to the 33rd area. Wang Dong flew out at as soon as the match started. As his beautiful radiant butterfly goddess wings unfurled, the twin girls in front of him were starstruck, the way they looked at Wang Dong immediately changed. As the proctor of the match, Wang Yang's eyes lit up. He'd naturally been able to see, 
just how extraordinary Xiao Xiao's martial soul was, which made him seriously evaluate Xiao Xiao's ability to grasp key moments in a battle. Wang Dong turned to Xiao Xiao and smiled. I was just testing his strength. This guy's martial soul should be the extremely tough Herculean ape, no wonder he's so strong. After saying this, he leapt back into the air. He toes tapped the three live soul crush cauldron with his toes on his way back up, and his first soul ring lit up. Huang Chu Tian, let's see whether or not your toughness can withstand my wing guillotine. Extending his wings, he charged towards his opponent. As Wang Dong flew towards his opponent, Lan Susu and Lan Luo Luo stopped looking towards him. Instead, the pair looked at each other and clasped their hands. An even stronger soul force undulation immediately erupted from them. Their ten or so meters of blue hair instantly flew into the air, forming a large net in midair that flew towards Wang Dong. Using a net to confront a butterfly was clearly the best method available to them. At this moment, the overbearing might of Wang Dong's guillotine wing showed itself. The hairnet was originally meant to suppress his butterfly-type martial soul, but when he waved his guillotine wing, its sharp edge emitted a terrifyingly destructive power. Two enormous bluish-golden blades danced about, unexpectedly tearing a hole in the large net. He used the opportunity he'd made to instantly dive down towards Huang Chu Tian, with the aid of Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection sharing. Huang Chu Tian and the two sisters were astonished. They hadn't expected the destructive strength of Wang Dong's radiant butterfly goddess to be this great. Moreover, they didn't understand how Wang Dong could have known exactly where Huang Chu Tian was, despite his vision being blocked by the hairnet. Huang Chu Tian let out a loud roar, his first soul ring instantly lighting up. The size of his fists suddenly doubled, and they shone with a strong metallic luster. After he did this, he met Wang Dong's guillotine wing head on. While this was happening, the Lan sisters released their hairnets in an attempt to trap him from behind. The Lan sisters had clearly underestimated their opponents. Although Huang Chu Tian was at a disadvantage when fighting Wang Dong, he hadn't been defeated. However, they'd forgotten that Wang Dong wasn't by himself. As Wang Dong flew straight towards them whilst tearing apart their hairnets, they realized that they didn't have enough time to use their second soul skills anymore, as there needed to be a certain amount of distance between the two parties for its greatest might to be unleashed. The sisters glanced at each other, a determined look appearing in their eyes. The soul rings on the two girls' bodies simultaneously disappeared, and they suddenly unclasped their hands. Next, they unexpectedly opened their arms and hugged each other. Wang Dong was stunned for a moment what were they trying to do. In what seemed to be an instant, Wang Dong had become a dumpling trapped within the net of hair, the sparkling strands of blue hair had surrounded him completely. However, the omnipresent strands of hair didn't simply stop here. Instead, they rapidly flew towards Xiao Xiao and Hui Yu Hao to entrap them as well, a soul fusion skill. Xiao Xiao let out a surprised cry. She quickly unleashed an all-out attack with the three-live soul crush cauldron. The large cauldron split into three smaller cauldrons in mid-air, before smashing into the large web. This so-called soul fusion skill was a combined skill that could be unleashed by two soul masters, who had extremely congenial martial souls. Hence, the power of a soul fusion skill far exceeded that of any soul skill of the same rank. It was an existence that was no longer on the same level as other soul skills. On the other hand, a soul fusion skill could only be unleashed by an extremely small number of soul masters. Finding two compatible soul masters was as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack. Huang Chu Tian was naturally the strongest individual on his team, but their team's true trump card was the soul fusion skill that the Land Sisters could use. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.